So you guys know what released today, right? The Mi A2 and the Mi A2 Lite. In this video, let's talk about them. Hey guys, I'm Ash, you're watching C4E Tag and today's video is gonna be all about that Mi 6X. Oh, I mean Mi A2. Yes, we were right on that one after all, right? Anyway, anyway, let's take, let's just roll the intro now. Oh, wait, we have an awesome giveaway running card, link in description. And of course, if you like the new phones, the new style and all that, and you want more of them, then hit that bell icon to become part of the notification squad. Now the Mi A2 comes with a ton of improvements over the Mi A1. Let's just list them off, shall we? Number one, it's got a better processor. Yep, we now have the Snapdragon 660 inside the Mi A2, which is a huge step up from Xiaomi's favorite 625 that we had inside the older A1. The 660, despite being a 6 series chip, performs really well. There's some nice backstory here, and if you want to know more about it, check out my Mi 8 SE review where I talk about just this. Overall, the 660 is an excellent chip that performs really well. That's the short story. Number two, a better display. Well, okay, not necessarily better, but definitely a taller display. The Mi A2 comes with a 5.99 inch panel with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. The resolution is Full HD Plus and it should be a blast to watch content on this larger screen. Number three, better cameras. Now this is the one where Xiaomi has worked on the most. The Mi A1 sported some top of the line camera hardware. In fact, those rear dual cameras had been our pick when it came to choices under 15K. The Mi A2 though seriously bumps up the cameras in the specs department. We have a 12 plus 20 megapixel rear camera combo. Both come with f1.75 lenses. Now the pictures you're seeing here were shot with the same cameras but on the Mi 6X, which for all intents and purposes is the Mi A2, but with Mi UI instead of stock Android. Talking about software, the A2 is also under the Android One project, which means that we get vanilla Android experience here, just like we did on the Mi A1. Now, personally, I love the snappy interface of stock Android, but some people tend to find it a little bit bland. Which side of the coin do you fall on or do you stand on? Well, here's a poll. Let us know. Next on the list of things that haven't really changed, battery life. I know, I know some of you are pointing out right now that it's gone from 3080 to 3000 mAh, but does 80 mAh really matter? I wish Xiaomi had increased the battery capacity here. Not looking for 4000 mAh, but something around the 3400-3500 mAh mark would have been nice. I mean, we have a larger screen as well as a more powerful processor to power this time around. For now, I just have my fingers crossed that Xiaomi enables fast charge on the Mi A2 globally so that we can juice up our phones real fast whenever we run out of juice. Now as for the build, it's more or less similar to the A1, just a few cosmetic changes like with the display. Sadly, there are two major omissions, the headphone jack and micro SD. Why Xiaomi, why? It's really disappointing to see these fan favorites removed. That said, the A2 is an improvement over the A1 in more ways than not. So of course, Xiaomi is also charging more for it now. The Mi A2 is available from 249 euros for the 432 variant. Now converted to Indian rupees, it's a little over 20,000. But here's the good news, all phones are priced really high in Europe, so we can expect the A2 to launch at about 16, 17,000 rupees here in India. And there are a couple of higher end variants, 464 and 6128 available too. Now for those of you in the US, Euro prices often directly translate to USD, but unfortunately it looks like Xiaomi isn't gonna be selling these in the US. In fact, let me throw up an availability chart so that you can see if you can get your hands on an A2 directly from Xiaomi. Now, if you think the Mi A2 is a bit too out of your price range, well, that's the A2 Lite, kind of. I mean, weirdly enough, India is one of the markets where it isn't listed as being released in. I guess Xiaomi is selling enough 625 phones in India and they don't want to add another to the mix. Oh yeah, that's the chip here on the A2 Lite. This is the Android version of the Redmi 6 Pro. So the big change here with the A2 Lite from the A2 is the fact that we have a 19 by 9 5.84 inch display. It's still full HD plus and yes, I know opinions are divided on the notch, but come on, when was the last time you had a budget phone with such slim bezels? Heck, Xiaomi has done such a good job here that we can even easily grip it one-handed. Wait, I know the question you have right now. Ash, how can you say that without having used the phone? Like having held the phone in hand? Well, we kinda do. See, this is the Redmi 6 Pro, which like I said, is the A2 Lite with MIUI. And the unboxing video for that is coming real soon on C4E Tech, so hit subscribe if you haven't yet. 
But yeah, before we get sidetracked again, let me wrap up the spec sheet for you guys. A massive 4000 mAh battery, 12 megapixel primary, 5 megapixel secondary depth sensing unit to the back, a 5 megapixel front, fa front facing camera, and yes, a headphone jack. I didn't think I'd have to mention that, but since Xiaomi mysteriously decided to axe the headphone jack on the A2, now that's a feature worth mentioning. Now, if it feels like the A2 Lite is a jumbled version of different bits and pieces of Xiaomi phones over the past few months, well then, you're not alone. That's what I thought as well when I first got my hands on the Redmi 6 Pro. And frankly, the 179 euro or 14,500 Indian rupee pricing for the 332 variant tells a similar story. The A2 Lite slots in somewhere between the Note 5 and the Note 5 Pro. The only USB here is that notch display and stock Android at a budget price. Again, note that the Indian pricing will not directly be converted from the European pricing. If Xiaomi decides to launch it in India, it could come in at 12, 13,000 rupees. Well, that's all I have to say for this one. Let me know what you guys think. Like the Mi A2, want it to be priced lower? Let us know everything in the comments below. Of course, share this video with everyone and let them know that there is a new Android one device or rather two devices. Uh, available from Xiaomi and if for some reason you ended up hating this video then you know what to do but if you did like it drop us a giant like hit subscribe and click on that bell icon so that you get notified every time a new video goes live on C4 Retech. So I guess it's time I bid you adieu thanks a lot for watching until next time my name's Ash you've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now you guys have a great day bye bye